What is good, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, Forrest Ripperton, and yes, this is not a ghost. This is not a drill. This is not a clone. It's really me here in the flesh on YouTube right now, and we are gonna talk about my jean collection and why jeans matter the most to me and why I'm so, 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 so particular on everything that I wear. Literally, this stack of jeans and the jeans I got on right now are the only jeans that I own. I have some shorts and shit like that, but these are the only jeans that I own and it's because I'm hella particular about the shit that I wear. I'll go in the store and look through literally everything. Like, cause when I go in clothing stores, I look through damn near everything. I know some people that go in there and they go like flip, flip, flip and they leave. I'm literally looking through damn near everything in there because you never know if somebody placed something in the wrong spot or you just never know. So that's what I'm about to talk about. I'm like, what's the best video to even come back on YouTube and talk about because I've been gone for so long and everybody been telling me to get back on YouTube. And I'm like, damn, I don't know what to talk about, but it's like, nigga, you know what to talk about. You, This is what you do. The Forrest family has missed you, bro. Like, I know y'all miss me and I miss y'all too. I've been going heavy on Instagram and shit like that and trying to do TikTok a little bit. TikTok's a weird world, but like, YouTube is where the family at. And I, I just been, in the past like couple of days, bro, I just been like thinking about like how, like how far I've came. And I put a post on Instagram the other day just showing y'all like how much I appreciate y'all. And a lot of y'all have been with me on this journey. Like, Y'all seen the ups and downs to get to where I'm at and I'm not even done doing what I want to do in the world. So like, I really appreciate y'all so much. So I'm like, you know what? I got to pay it back to y'all, man, and get back on this YouTube shit and go hard on here because, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody fucking with us. Like, if you want to be honest, like I might not have that many fucking followers and views and shit like that on all my social media platforms, but like, I'm really that guy when it come to this shit. Like, I, I ain't trying to be cocky or nothing, but y'all know we... We do this shit. We impact the culture. We influence the culture. We educate the culture. We put niggas on this shit, bro. Like, that's what we do. Like, that's what we do. So, yeah, like I said, I got a stack of jeans right here, bro. Like, these is all the jeans. I had to do a thumbnail. But, yeah, how many jeans is this? One, two, three, four, five. It's five pair of jeans plus six, the ones that I got on. And the reason why I only own six pair of jeans is, like I said, I'm really particular on how I like my shit to like fit. And I've been on this journey of trying to figure out like, okay, what is my like style? Like this style journey, I feel like style journey is never over with because I don't know, maybe the shit that I like now, I'm probably not gonna like five years from now, who knows? Because the shit that I was wearing back then, I don't wear a lot of that stuff now, but like I'm still, it's certain things that I still implement in my style to today. So. I don't know. I'm just really particular about my jeans. I'm particular about my shirts, clothes, hoodies, all that shit when I'm wearing it. So, yeah, I'm just at that point. So, a lot of people probably be like, uh, I would rather have a bunch of clothes, da 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 da. But I'm one of them people where I'd rather have a small, like, very, like, um, what's the word? Uh, fuck, what's the word, bro? Curated, a very, like, intense intensely curated collection of shit that I really, really like. So when it's time to put on an outfit, I know for a fact that I'm about to like everything I'm about to put on. So I'm really particular about that. So that's why I have this small amount of jeans. And some of these drinks, I don't even wear that often. Like I'm probably gonna end up selling because they kind of don't fit exactly how I want. But the thing is, when you have jeans and pants, you kind of probably don't want all of them to fit exactly the same. You want them to have like some type of different characteristics because you never know what mood you're gonna be in when you want to put a fit on. So. I guess, like, but sometimes it's it's a lot of jeans in here. Like, most of these jeans I don't wear. I wear like two of these jeans the most, and I got these new ones on that I just cop yesterday. I'll put a pick up of these jeans that I'm wearing right now because I'm not gonna be able to take them off and shit like that. I'm gonna put a picture up right now to show y'all because I just posted this pic today so y'all can see how they fit. These some Rockaway jeans. I got these just for like forty dollars out the thrift. Um, what? It's not really a thrift, it's not wasteland, it's like consignment, thrift store, you know what I'm saying? People still wore it, but it's like more brand, like high brand shit like that. But Rockaway, I told niggas y'all sleeping on Rockaway, like I feel like all the older stuff, low key is the hard shit. But yeah, um, these are some Rockaway denims, uh, real, real nice. They was brand new, still had the tag on. I just took the tag off this joint, but yeah, $40, they real like firm and stiff and shit like that, pause. But like, yeah, like I said, you can see that shit on the picture, but Got those jeans out the way, and now we're gonna talk about these other jeans. So I'm gonna put the stack down right here, and I'm gonna just pick up each pair of jeans. And I'm gonna show like a picture of me wearing them, because I don't wanna do like the me standing up and doing all that other shit. I literally have worn all these jeans, I'm gonna show you. So these jeans right here are some Carhartt vintage jeans that I got for like 30 bucks out of this store called Second Street. Again, that's another like consignment thrift store. So it's not like a thrift store like 
Goodwill is where everything's like a dollar, five dollars, shit like that. And you got to like really, really show too. It's kind of like a curated um, thrift store to where people come in and they sell their stuff and the people pick out what they want to keep and what they don't want to keep it and they sell it. So it's like name brands, all type of shit. But you could come up on like sneaky shit like this. These shits is hard. You would have thought these was like um, Levi's or something like that, but they're not. These shits are Carhartt jeans. I had the little Carhartt patch on it, but the brown patch on the back was throwing me off whenever I like seen my fit in the pic, in, like in the mirror or in a picture or something. I was like, bro, that brown patch is throwing me off. So I went ahead and took the seam ripper and ripped that shit off. But look at all the distressing on these joints, bro. I feel like this is like the perfect distressed head denim, bro. Like you could tell somebody was wearing these. You see the paint splatter. You could tell somebody was wearing these through the fucking like mud, like every day. These these are a pair of jeans that I feel like if you was trying to cop them somewhere else, these shits would be like a hundred, two hundred dollar jeans. Like it's like a great wash, the great dirtiness, the rips is like perfect. The only thing about these jeans, like y'all saw in the picture, is that they aren't as baggy as I would like them to be. I feel like if these were baggy, like how I really like my jeans to be, these would probably, I would literally probably wear these every single day, bro. That's the only reason I don't wear these just that often is because they kind of like a little slimmer. So I kind of can only wear it with certain things. And it's a, it gives, it's like a whole nother vibe when I put these jeans on than when I'm wearing my baggy shit. So I don't wear them that much. But if these was baggy, bro, like if these jeans was baggy, I would literally wear these every day. Like the distressing, all like, look at this shit, like. The distressing and everything is just like perfect on these jeans, bro. Like, and I think I washed these just like one time since I bought them. That's the thing. That's the secret to jeans too. Like a lot of people probably, I don't know if y'all know, it's not dirty to not wash your jeans unless you was just outside doing some crazy ass shit. But you're not supposed to wash your jeans that often, bro. Like you're really not, especially like when it comes to like raw denim jeans, the ones that's like stiff and even ones that look like this. Because when you wash them, it just take all the like the... You imagine this, you're wearing these jeans over and over again, and they're kind of like getting used to your body and all that other shit. And then you go and wash them, and then now they get all weird. Now you got to kind of re like break them in again, or it might take that life away from them, especially with like raw denim. I have these, uh, these the jeans I'm gonna talk about next, but I got these, uh, Dries Van Noten jeans, and I was wearing them for a long ass time, and eventually I had to wash them. And when I wash them, it kind of took the stiffness away. So that's why you not, like, as much as you can, do not wash your jeans, bro. Like, unless you just funky and doing the most, do not wash your jeans, bro. That's that's not the way. So, yeah, these are my Dries Van Noten jeans. Y'all probably seen these a couple of times because I remember when I got these, I was wearing these damn shits like damn near every day. But, yeah, I got a picture right here. I feel like I got multiple pictures. If I got multiple pictures, I'll put them up. But, yeah, these... At one point was my favorite jeans. I spent like $300 on these jeans. This is my first time. I think this is my first time ever spending that much on a, like, on a pair of jeans. Like, I don't think I ever spent $300 on a pair of jeans ever in my life until the Dries Van Nuttons came. And I think that just like opened up a world for me. But yeah, so when I, I went in the Dries Van Nuttons store here in LA, um, they only, I think LA is the only place in the US that has a Dries Van Nuttons, um storefront. So. That's even more fire, but when you go in that store, it's so crazy. So if you ever in LA, go to the Juice Van Noten store. Not even if you want to buy shit, but like, just go in there. It's definitely a vibe, I promise you. But yeah, these are my Juice Van Noten jeans. Whenever I was wearing these, people would fucking steadily ask me, what are those jeans, bro? What are those jeans? What are the, like literally every time I wore these, people was like, what are those jeans? And now, like I said, the washing them shit, these are a little bit like, looser and doesn't have that firmness and stiffness to it this out this outfit right here is where they was the most stiffest pause and like this is where i kind of first bought them you can see like the wrinkles and shit in them but ever since then i washed them and they kind of like loosened up and also these aren't as baggy as i want them like i'm at a point where i really love like baggy ass jeans like i got the next the next two pair, like the last two pair I'm going to talk about and the ones I got on right now are like the baggiest, like that's what I be going for. But these I still have like a kind of bagginess to them if I sag them and shit like that. That's my secret. Also to make like the pants sit right on me and all that other stuff is I sag my jeans because I just like the way they look. I don't know. It's just what I'm into. But these aren't as baggy as I want them to be anymore. But they still do the job, but I might end up selling them. But yeah, you can see like I've been wearing them. They'll drag on the ground and get like that distressing on the bottom. Um, yeah, it'll get like that distressing on the bottom because they'll drag on the ground. But yeah, it got like the little 
Streets Fat Note and Leather Patch on the back. Streets Fat Note and on the tag. I also had to take these to the tailor. That's another secret that I have. Um, I'll buy some jeans and I like I wear like a 30 waist, but I don't like my jeans to like fit that tight on my waist. Like these fucking, uh, these jeans right here, the um, Carhartt joints, those fit like right on my waist. Like I said, that I could only wear those a few times because I'm not that comfortable in them sometimes when I want to build my baggy shit. But yeah, I bought these in like a 32 that was kind of like too big on the waist. So I'll take them to the tailor and tell them like bring them in like one inch or something like that just to keep the the bagginess so I can sag them to the point where they not keep falling off my ass, but they still keeping that aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so that's one of my secrets. I'll go to the store and I'll buy some jeans. That's not my size. Like probably I'll stop at like a 34. Cause once you get too high and trying to do all that shit, doing the most like these jeans, the Rockaway jeans that I got on, um, uh, 34, I'm gonna take them to the tailor and tell them like bring them in like two inches probably. And then they'll probably fit perfect on me. But yeah, that's my secret to get in. You know what I'm saying I just snuck a little secret in there. Now the next jeans, uh, a lot of people actually have been asking me about these because I've been wearing them a little bit more recently. And these are another pair of Carhartt jeans. I hate the little pats on the back that Carhartt have on their jeans, so I always take the fucking that shit off because it's like a leather, like a brown leather patch right here, and it just fucks up the fit. I ain't gonna lie, it just I'm like that particular when it comes to shit, like it fucks up the fit because if I got on like a streetwear kind of fit and then you see like a brown patch on the back of the jeans, it gives me like construction worker vibes and it's like, damn, I got on a streetwear fit with some dunks and shit like that and a hoodie, baggy ass hoodie and this brown patch. So it's like, fuck up the whole aesthetic. So I fucking had to chop that off. But yeah, oh yeah, let me show y'all a picture of me wearing these drinks. Um, yeah, I got a picture of me wearing these joints. These aren't really my favorite because I think I fucked these jeans up because, like I said, I, these are like a 34 and I took them to the tailor and I think I told them to bring them in too much because now they kind of do sit on my waist so they don't like sag and have the right look to it because if you bring, if I bring in my jeans too much on the waist, the waist becomes skinnier and now I can't like, the proportions on my legs and shit look weird so it doesn't baggy the way it needs to baggy. I've been thinking about selling these, but again, I kind of find myself be wanting to throw them on sometimes, but yeah, I, f I definitely fucked up on the waist on these. These definitely wasn't supposed to be brought in that close. I should have just, I should have just never touched them, but they was falling off my ass when I was wearing them, bro. Like really falling off my ass. So you could really go in the thrift and find some good jeans, even at Goodwill and shit like that. They have some tough jeans in there. You just gotta uh, want to go in there and look through it. Like that's the problem with a lot of people. They don't want to go in stores and just be in the store all day looking at clothes, but you really have to do that if you want to find shit that you want. Like a lot of my friends be like, damn bro, like how you be finding shit? Like a lot of y'all be saying, how do you be finding shit? It's cause when I go in the store, I'm looking at everything bro like i'm looking at everything because i don't want to miss anything like i don't want to miss nothing i don't go in the store and be like mm, i'm gonna go in here for two seconds and leave like fuck no i'm going in there looking through damn near everything i don't give a fuck if it's not even my size we looking at it because you never know what you can find bro like never know next jeans right here i don't know what it is i guess it's just like something about dreams fan no and that's the only pair of jeans that i've spent a lot of money on to show y'all a picture i got like three pictures on my instagram uh, of me wearing these jeans, but these are the Stussy and Dries Van Noten collab. Um, I didn't, this is a collab that I didn't expect to see and I didn't expect me to want. Like when it first dropped and I saw the pictures, I really wasn't fucking with them like that. I, because the model that was wearing them, I guess he was kind of tall, so the pants wasn't stacking or sitting how I would want them to sit on me. So I'm looking at them thinking like, damn, they made these fire ass looking jeans, but it's a bullshit fit. I feel like a lot of brands do that bro they make fire ass jeans with all this potential and then they make them either skinny as fuck high watery or they just don't lick like stack the right way and i'm just like bro you have one job to make a good pair of jeans and you fuck them all up these actually end up fitting real good i went around all the stores i had went to dover street market and they had the acid wash ones i ain't gonna lie i hate acid wash jeans they just like it's it's a weird trauma that back to high school where i saw people wearing acid wash jeans that shit is terrible i hate acid wash jeans but these were the black ones dope street market didn't have these so then i went to the stussy store they said that the juice van Noten store had them so i went to juice van Noten store they had these joints hanging up on the rack and my size had to cop them tried them on they was beautiful these joints are so fire i've spent uh 400 on these joints too these were i still got a tag on them uh 385 these cost 385 so i really fuck on these also come with like some metal things i just don't know where they at right now but they came with like some metal like uh accessories or some shit like that but yeah these jeans are fucking 
fire. It's like a spray painted, it's like a spray painted thing going down on both of the legs. These shits is so tough. They're super baggy. The leg opening. That's another thing that you need to pay attention to for your jeans. Like if you have a pair of jeans that you love, measure the fucking leg opening. So when you're on grilled or something like that and you see a pair of jeans that you like, but you don't know if the leg opening is going to fit or nothing like that, ask the person who's selling them. Be like, what's the measurements on the leg opening? Uh, This leg opening is probably like a, probably like nine ten inches pause and that's kind of like the best range of leg openers on jeans that i like for my shoes because that means they're literally going to fit perfect and it's going to stack how it needs to stack a lot of jeans are like baggy at the top but then the leg opening is seven inch like what the fuck some people might like that but yeah i like the leg openers to fucking proportionately add up with everything else in the jeans but and now in the infamous jeans that everybody has been asking me about whenever I wear these, whenever I show people these, they're like, where did you get these from? Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Every, like my DMs are full of, where you get those jeans? Where you get those jeans? TikTok, where you get those jeans? Where you get those jeans? And I told people where I got them from, but more and more people keep finding me and shit like that. So I keep telling people what these are. So. These jeans right here, I'm gonna show y'all a picture of me wearing them. I'm gonna say this for the last time. It's the last time I'm gonna say anything about these jeans. This is the last time I'm gonna say anything about these jeans. If you comment underneath a picture next time I wear them or something like that, you ask me about these jeans, I'm not answering you. I'm gonna say, go watch my YouTube video, okay? okay. These jeans right here, first of all, I got out the thrift store, you know what I'm saying, out there like 2nd Street. I think I got these out the 2nd Street for like 40 bucks. Not expensive at all. Super baggy. I love the way they fit. They fit like a skate jean. They kind of remind me, if y'all remember my video from a long ass time ago, it was the Urban Outfitter baggy jeans. They remind me of those, but just a little bit better in quality, a little bit better thickness, pause, and shit like that. And these, I never thought that I was going to buy anything else from Zara ever again, but these are the Ruigi and Zara collabs. Ruigi is the owner of the brand Rue, the high-end brand Rue, and he had a collaboration with Zara, and they made these jeans right here. That's why the R-H-U is on the back for Ruigi, and then on the tongue, it says Zara Ruigi, and that's where I got these jeans from. These jeans are like... Low key, the jeans that I wear the most, like these are like my go-to jeans whenever I'm leaving out the house to do anything. These are my go-to jeans and I wear them all the time because like I said, these damn near are the perfect pair of jeans that I have right now. I don't know what I might find in the future, but right now these are the perfect pair of jeans. These are like, they fit like skater jeans. They're perfectly baggy as y'all saw in the video, I mean in the pictures. And yeah, these is just a light wash blue jean. Like I said, the leg opening fits perfect. All of that shit, bro. Like, these jeans are perfect. Like, I, I, these are the perfect jeans that I have right now in my possession right now that I own. One, because they go with everything. Two, they just are comfortable to wear. They fit perfectly. I had to take them to the uh, tailor to get the waist done because the waist was like 34. So I took them to do like a 32 or some shit like that. I wear them with like my shoestring belt and throw my dunks on or shit like that, like my wands or anything like that. I just throw them drinks on and they do the job. Perfect wash, like these shits go with everything, bro. And I was looking for a pair of wash jeans like this, like light wash jeans like this, and I just couldn't find them. But this, what, this is what happens when you go in the store and you are looking for shit. Like I just, I think another thing, this is the thing that I try to get people to do. Like, you're not gonna find shit if you're not are constantly going in stores trying to look for shit. You can go to one store and then go home if you don't feel like doing that much today. But you gotta like frequently go to the same stores that you like to go to because you never know what they're gonna have. Try to find your favorite thrift stores. Like thrift stores get shit in damn near every day and they like putting shit on the floor, taking shit off, putting shit on the floor. So you kind of gotta keep going to stores over and over again because they're like, rotating shit and you never know what day they might rotate some shit in there that you want and you've been looking for so i advise y'all to keep going to these stores and look through everything look through everything because you're missing out on the shit that you're not looking through bro like you're missing out i promise you so that's my secret to finding like the best shit and also when you're fucking trying when you're looking for jeans fucking try the jeans on go to the fucking dressing room and go try the jeans on a lot of people be like i don't want to try nothing on like why like you're gonna go home try them on be mad as shit and be like 
Man, I don't need like man, these no jeans never fit. Just cut your goofy ass don't try them on in the damn uh store in the dressing room before you leave out the store with them before you get them people's your money like down the ass be lifting up the pants and be like yeah i think they gonna fit or they hold them up to their waist yeah i think they gonna fit and they get home and they're bullshit like that's dumb like go take your lazy ass to the dressing room and go try them on so you can know if they fit how you want them to fit before you get a ass your money and that's the last time i'm gonna say that shit stop saying that you can't find shit that fit you right blah say blah say blah find go Try shit on, go to stores, touch fabrics, do all this shit. Even if it's a store that's like more expensive than you normally would be able to afford, go in there and try some shit on so you can be like, okay, this is how I want my jeans to feel. Or this is how I want some shit to fit. And then now when you go look at other places that you can't afford, you can fucking use that as a reference to be like, all right, I remember I wore those. I want them to fit kind of like that. Blah, 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 the measurements of the this, that, and the third. Bro, if you got to go in the store with a damn ruler or a fucking tape measure, like, and you're measuring the leg, fucking the inseams, the leg opening, the what, like, bro, if you got to do that, then do that. That's how you find shit, bro. Like, I, I'm, I can't, I can't stress that enough, okay? That's my jean collection. That's my secret hacks to finding the best jeans. And yeah, I can't stress that enough. I feel like as I get more jeans, I'll show y'all the jeans that I have as I get more jeans and shit like that. Like I said, I'm picky. So yeah, as I get more jeans, I'll show y'all niggas. If I post some shit with a pair of jeans that I just explained in this video, I don't want to hear y'all ask me about it. I'm going to just be like, go check this YouTube. I'm going to just drop the link, okay? But yeah, it feels good to be back, bro. It feels so good to be back and being with y'all, man, like, I missed y'all so much, and I'm sorry that I neglected y'all like that, but it wasn't me neglecting, I just be having life shit going on, and I be having to figure out what I want to do, but, like, I gotta understand that we really do this shit, and, like, it's nothing to really think about, I get on here and do my shit, you know what I'm saying, I would have been, like, like, I, I had all the reasons not to do it, I just made up a bunch of excuses why not to do this shit, but fuck that shit, bro, that, like, all them excuses you have when you're thinking about doing something, bro, that's, you gotta put that shit out the window and just do it immediately. If you have all the tools to get some shit done right now, then just do it and just keep progressing as it goes. Like, you might be like, well, I don't got this, I don't got this, but if you have enough to make some shit and do some shit, then just do it. Everybody wants shit to be perfect. It ain't gonna be perfect. Nothing is perfect. Even the shit that you think is perfect, that person don't think is perfect. Like. It's nothing that's ever perfect, bro. Like, nothing. So, you just need to get your ideas out. You need to just, as soon as you have a thought to do something, get that shit out the way. And it'll prove to you that you could just do something that you thought of. I think that's what people need a lot of. They need just reassurance that what they think they can do. So, if you think, ah, oh, shit, I want to make some oatmeal, but I don't know if it's going to turn out right. Fuck that. I don't know if it's going to turn out right. Go make the goddamn oatmeal. And if it turn out bad... Fucking figure out why it was bad. Be like, damn, should I have cooked it this long? Or damn, should I should have used almond milk? Or should I just... I'm telling you. It feel good to be back. And I'm dropping more videos. I'm not leaving y'all niggas no more, man. I can't neglect my family like that, man. We is back and better. Now let's do this shit, man. Let me know what videos y'all want me to drop. Talk about anything y'all want me to talk about. Put them in the comments below. I want... Anything, tell me anything y'all want me to talk about and I'm gonna read that shit and we gonna get this YouTube shit going. 2023, we about to take over YouTube, man. Fuck this shit. We about to take over YouTube starting now, starting today.